What is up, Trust Troop? It is Trust to Impress, and I'm Biggity B A C K back with another roller set video. So, if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this look with no flat irons, then stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share out this video. All right, you guys, I wet down my hair and let's go ahead and get into the video. Basically, I wanted my ends to be a little bit more straight so that I can cut them without having to flat iron the hair straight. So I'm using a roller with a little bit larger diameter and hoping that it has no curl basically to the ends of my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and section my hair into the same four sections that I always use for my roller sets. The only thing that I'll be changing is the roller uh, size diameter. I'll make sure that all of the products, including the rollers that I'm using, are linked in the description box below. My Amazon storefront link will be down there. If you shop my Amazon storefront, then please make sure that you follow me over there on Amazon. And I will also link previous roller set videos that discuss this process in a little bit more detail if you guys are really serious about trying out uh, the roller set and duplicating this style now y'all let me be real for a second the gray rollers are larger and this is different for me let me give you a piece of advice do not try anything new on your hair especially curly natural hair when you are tired exhausted and ready to go to bed because I personally feel like this did not turn out well however I'm going to let you guys be the judge of that let me know down in the comments was this a pass or a fail so once again I'm using my same technique I section off a section of hair that's about the same width as one of the rollers so two inches approximately and I detangle the hair with a wide tooth comb, then a little bit of a finer wide tooth comb, and then a fine tooth comb. Lastly, to make sure that the hair is completely smooth, before I roll it up on the roller, right here I'm showing you guys the separation between my natural curly healthy hair and then the hair that I heat damaged with flat irons. So where do you guys think that I should cut my hair? Should I simply cut the split ends off of my hair or should I cut my hair all the way up to that line of demarcation where my curl pattern changes? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Now, notice when I roll that second roller up, the product that I'm using for my setting lotion didn't seem as foamy as the first roller. Well, let me tell you, what had happened was I refilled my foamy wrap mousse. It's called foamy wrap mousse, if I'm not mistaken, by Lotta Body. It is linked on my Amazon storefront in the roller set essentials idea list. Now, it comes with a little foaming pump on the top of it. So I saw a larger bottle, which is also linked on my Amazon storefront, of what looks like the same product. And I attempted to refill my pump bottle, y'all. Mistake. Because I looked more closely and they're not the same product. One says setting lotion. One says foam me wrap mousse. And... I had a feeling that since it was not foaming at all, that it was, and it feels a little bit different. It feels more like water. It's hard to explain, but I was afraid that it might give me a different product as far as my results on my hair. And it did. It most definitely did. However, I'm not going to knock it until I try that product on the purple rollers because my hair came out differently simply because my rollers were different. You're also going to see a little bit later in the video, I'm going to explain how I completed my styling before my hair was completely dry. So that was another little mini disaster, but I worked through it. So hang in there, trust the process. It came out wearable. It just didn't come, it, it just didn't exceed my expectations. Let's put it that way. So as you can see, I'm continuing rolling the middle section of my hair and 
it was kind of going okay, kind of not. It was a little bit awkward because the rollers are so large. And I think that I was making the section slightly larger than two inches when I really should have been making the section slightly smaller than the two inch diameter of the roller. I think that I, if I had added two more roller sections down this middle part, I think that first of all, it would have looked better. And second of all, I think the final result would have come out better. Also on these side sections, I increased the size of those sections as well. So on this row of my hair that I'm working on now with the purple rollers, I would normally have done three rollers. And here you can see I'm only doing two. I think I should have kept three. And my roots would have possibly come out a little bit straighter. And the style possibly would have come out a little bit neater and smoother as far as being wet with the rollers. That's what I'm thinking. I'll try it again. You know, it's trial and error. It's never going to come out. I can't say never, but you can't expect it to come out perfectly the very first try. So I tried it out. Didn't like it. I'm going to dust myself off. Try it out again. You know, but I'm also going to put you guys up on game with the do's and the don'ts. So you guys won't make the same mistakes I made. Now, I have finished one side of my head and I'm going to do the exact same process to the other side. So let's just skip over all of that. And I'm going to show you guys what everything looked like all rolled up. You can see it's not perfect. It could have been neater, but hey, it's up there and I'm tired. So moving on, I'm going to turn on my hooded dryer. I like to preset the timing and the heat setting. So this particular dryer has low, medium and high for heat setting. I use the medium and that's my business. I'm not completely heat free, but the indirect heat is a lot better for your hair. And this hooded dryer is also linked on my Amazon storefront. So I'm going to get under the dryer and let it do what it do. Now, it's time for the moment of truth. What does this look like? Now, at first, I thought it was giving because the hair was dry. It's pretty much falling kind of flat-ish. Even though it's dry, which is what I want, I did not want it to spring up and bounce up and give too much curl because remember, I'm going for a straight look so that I can easily cut my hair without having to press it out, blow dry it out, etc. So once I got to the right side of my head, y'all, my hair was wet. I realized my hair was wet. And when I say wet, I mean like wet but guess what what did I do I was over it y'all if that happens to you put the roller back in sit back under the hair dryer or let it air dry do not do what I did which is continue styling so I added my silk out keratin serum and I am ashamed to admit that I kept going I just kept on going I just kept on going, y'all. So here I am wrapping my hair. I always like to start with a middle part to wrap my hair because when it's longer like this, it just seems a lot easier for me to start in the middle and then give myself a side part and then wrap the remaining hair on around. And I'm using a paddle brush. After I use my paddle brush, I go back over my hair with a smoothing brush. This blue brush is actually not linked on my Amazon storefront because this brush is older than me. So there's that. If I can find one that is similar, I will link it. I'm adding my plastic wrap over my hair and I actually closed up that little hole that you guys see. And since my hair was still wet on one side, I actually poked holes in the saran wrap so moisture could escape. And instead of sitting under the dryer for 10 minutes to set this mold, I actually sat back under there for 30 minutes to complete the drying process. It kind of worked. 
I still felt like a tinge of dampness, but it did work. So now it's the unwrapping. And y'all, the shine is giving. Let's have a moment of silence for the shine, okay? But then when I really got into it, I was like, mm, okay, I don't know where this is going. But let's trust the process and keep it going. I'm this far in now, may as well keep it going, you know? Let me know what you guys think. Would you try this size roller on your hair? I'm going to go ahead and add my polishing serum to give just a little bit more of that healthy shine. And this kind of helps to eliminate some of the frizz as well, especially as the hair dries. I'm adding a dry oil spray. And then parting my hair, I'm kind of styling it a little bit with the paddle brush, trying to get the hair to go in the direction that I want it to go in. Now, in the past, I have gone back and just flat ironed the very edges of my hair in a very narrow section down my part, just to make it look really polished and smooth. But I'm kind of getting into this phase where I don't feel like that's necessary. But that's always an option if you want to try out this style, but the root is just not straight enough for you. And that still is protecting your hair from the direct heat of a full silk press out from roots to ends. And this is pretty much the final product. So I'm just playing around with it like the style is going to change magically by me just playing in the hair which it's not girl it's not going to get any straighter it's not going to get any drier by you finger combing it but you know faith the size of a mustard seed y'all don't forget to join the vip trust troop membership so that you guys can see the length check and the haircut video and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Yes, honey, the ripple test is rippling. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share out the video.